All right. You guys can let me know that you can hear me and see me. That would be awesome. Okay. Sandra or Sarah, can you guys let me know in the comments? But we're in business. And I'll go ahead and start ask, answering your questions. Are you working? Yes, no. Okay, wonderful. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you so much for hosting. I so appreciate you guys getting on here tonight. It's not as fun as being with you guys in person. It's been so much fun coming up to be with you guys and spend time, but I appreciate you guys hopping online and spending time with me virtually. Um, I love sharing Norwex. So you guys have some good questions here. So let me go ahead and start with these. And then if you guys have any that arise during this, you know, please let me know. Um, so Pam asks, what is my favorite go-to product? Um, if it's something for cleaning, like around the house, in the kitchen, I'm always grabbing my kitchen cloth. This is my go-to in the kitchen. I love the ribbed weave for picking up food and crumbs off my tables, counters, chairs, the stovetop, um, even the floor. And I'll go back and forth between the floor and the counter. Um, but it just rinses out really easy. It's a little bit smaller. Does anyone here have the kitchen cloth? Um, it's a little bit smaller than the Enviro cloth. And then I love that we have, you know, kitchen towels that are, you know, the same weave, but we have them in matching colors. But this comes in a variety of colors. So I just really like it to have in the kitchen. Um, but for everything else, I mean, I'm mainly grabbing the Enviro cloth. I do know that a lot of people love the counter cloths. Let me grab those. Um, these are like select a size. So depending on, you know, like how big a mess is you're tending to clean up, you know, it'll vary probably what you prefer to use. I know, especially in the kitchen, a lot of people use this because this is a lot more dense, it's bigger, and so this is just really easy to rinse out. But some people, you know, they're just cleaning up a lot of little spills and things like that. I have a lot of customers that really love these counter cloths for that. Also great for napkins. Um, but like my favorite product, I mean, one of my favorite products just as I'm busy mom is my body cloth. I just love using it to freshen up, to wash my face. I'm just like, I'm so tired at night. Like I, it's just like great for the lazy, <laughs> for the lazy person who doesn't want to spend a lot of time getting ready for bed. Um, I just love how it makes my skin feel. Um, where did I put my body cloth? Oh, here. Who here has a body cloth and is using there? I know, um, Sandra, you have the facial pads. These ones come in a cute little thing like this. Oh, I grabbed the wrong ones, but there are these little, um, pads. Sorry. Thought I grabbed the right one. These look similar. Um, but it has a makeup cloth on one side and a body cloth on the other. And they just work like cotton pads. So they work really, really awesome. Um, so a lot of people like those and they like getting rid of something that, you know, they have to continually purchase. Um, but I, I really love my body cloth. Like I can't live without that. Um, okay, next question was, do I get to go on those fun trips often? So Norwex has every year that we get to earn an incentive trip and I've earned now four. So I've been to Mexico, Panama, Maui. I've earned Cabo San Lucas and I'm trying to earn Norway as well. They have two trips this year that we can earn for our 25th year anniversary, but I'm a little behind. So if you guys know anyone that wants to do a party between now and June, let me know. Um, I need all the parties that I can get to, to make it there. Um, and then I got to just go to Orlando for our leader conference. We have a leader conference every year and that was fully paid by Norwex as well because I was able to earn that. And I got to go to the Magic Kingdom and that was so fun. So an animal kingdom, super, super fun. Um, so yes, these are parts of the business that I was not expecting when I signed up just to get a 35% discount. Um, so that's been a real treat for me and my family because we would never pay to go on vacations like that. Um, Pam wants to know if there are tricks to the oven cleaner. So this is not the oven cleaner bottle. It's the mattress cleaner, but they all have the same flip top cap. So, um, Pam, you're going to want to open this up. So you get a fine mist spray. If you leave it closed, it's going to be foaming. But what you're going to do when you use your oven and grill cleaner is you're going to heat your oven. Most ovens only have the preheating to 170. So you're going to want to do that sometimes. Um, though the the door like the glass will still not get hot enough so you may need to like keep it at 170 for a while 
and then um, let it cool a little bit. The way I test to see if it's ready is I will spritz it with water and if it sizzles, you know, and pops, that means it's too hot. It really should just steam. 100 degrees is like the temperature of baby's mouth. You'd be able to touch it, but obviously I don't want you touching your oven to test it, but it shouldn't be so hot that you can't touch it because the thing is with the oven and grill cleaner, it uses heat activated enzymes. So it needs to be hot enough to activate those enzymes, but you can't have it too hot that it kills them, okay? So it does need to be heated. Um, and then what I like to use is our spearnet. So Pam, let me know, do you have these spearnets? these stainless steel scrubbers. Um, thank you, Sandra. Um, so if you don't have one of these, you definitely need this. I use this in a bowl of water. So after I've sprayed my oven and grill cleaner on, I shut the oven, I let it sit for at least 10 minutes, then I come back with a bowl of water, I dip this, you know, in the water, and then I start to scrub, you know, on all the burnt black stuff, on all like the grease spots on the window, and I will just scrub with this. And, you know, I'll have to rinse that bowl out a few times. And then I will take either like, paper towels or an old sock and wipe out all that black soot. And then at the end, I will wipe, you know, with my Enviro cloth to wipe up any residue of the cleaner. And then you will heat your oven to 200 and let it sit for 10 minutes to burn off any more of the clean residue cleaner that might be there, but it's not toxic there. It, there will be a slight smell, but it's not toxic to you. Um, so, okay. You do have these. Um, if you have done all of that and are still having problems, please let me know. I can also send you a link to a video that I made of myself cleaning my video. So maybe that will be helpful to you. Um, if you've already tried all of these things and that hasn't been successful because I do this demo at every home party I can if the oven is dirty because I love to clean ovens with the oven and grill cleaner. Um, okay. Let me see the next question. I just scroll back up. Um, okay. What do you mostly use the Enviro cloth for? Um, at my house, my most popular uses are for wiping down appliances followed by the window cloth. So I'll always use this wet also for wiping down mirrors, windows, door jams, doorknobs, all the surfaces in my bathroom, except I do prefer my bathroom scrub mitt for my shower. This is what I use to wipe down my shower walls and tub and doors. Um, but everything else I'm using this Enviro cloth for, I also use it for spots on my upholstery, you know, my couches and, um, as well as carpet, you know, if the kids spill something on the carpet, I'm scrubbing it with this. Um, what else to wipe off the remote control, the tables, um, you know, in my front room, um, what else? There are just so many uses that I use this for. So basically, if you're finding yourself still using any spray cleaner or wipes, you can instead use this, okay? Um, and so, Sarah, you were asking if I use any other products besides Norwex, and I think the answer is no. I haven't used anything else besides Norwex to clean my home. Like, in the beginning, it was still hard for me to like give up my wipes. Um, I was still using those for the toilet because I told you guys it took me a while before I could trust it to use it on the toilet. But then the more and more I would watch those videos of the black light demo, um, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm not letting that sit wet for four minutes. So it's really not saving me time me time. Because the thing for for me is that you know it seems so quick. It seems so easy to use a disinfecting wipe. But when you're actually using those things properly, it isn't quick. It isn't easy. And the Enviro cloth was so much easier, but it was really about developing new habits. And I'm someone that is a creature of habit. I am really resistant to change. And so it was really, you know, doing those new habits. And so what helped me finally was just getting rid of everything underneath my sink. Um, and I donated it because you can't throw them away. They're hazardous waste. So it's kind of interesting that it's like, if it's not good enough to go in our landfills, why are we spraying it all over our houses? So if you guys are having a hard time getting rid of any of your cleaners, um, you know, that are contain harsh chemicals, let me know and I can help you having OCD and having had to mentally work through all of this myself. Um, I'm happy to give you some tips on how to do that as well. Um, Sarah wants to know what are the most popular items people purchase in my parties? For sure, I mean, people getting the items in the Safe Haven 5 set, the household package with the dust mint and viral cloth window cloth, the cleaning paste is an absolute favorite. A lot of people come back for the detergent because I always give them samples and most people really love it. Um, body cloths are a huge favorite. 
Uh, a lot of people come to Norwex because they fall in love with the body cloth. Um, one thing that I may not have showed you, I can't remember. Have you guys, have I told you about the netted dish cloth? This is amazing for doing dishes. So if you have to hand wash any dishes, this is amazing because it doesn't get gross and stinky. Everything rinses out really well, but it's super, super scrubby. You can throw it in the top rack of your dishwasher, throw it in the washing machine, but I absolutely love this for washing dishes. Then the other top thing that people purchase is the mop system. Um, people really love that, but my most purchased probably, I mean, when I ran my customer report last year, the most purchased item was the cleaning paste. People absolutely love the paste. Um, okay, what other questions are there? Let me see. Okay, so for the cleaning paste uses, so the cleaning paste has like, I can send you an image of like 35 uses, um, suggested uses of the cleaning paste, but my favorite uses are the stovetop, whether or not you have a glass cooktop or a gas cooktop, the cleaning paste is amazing, um, used in conjunction with the series one. Sorry, didn't have that near. I love this, it's non-scratching, but it is the most scrubby sponge you will ever use. Um, you just wipe that on the paste and then go to town, so it's great in your kitchen. On the stovetop, it's also wonderful in the bathroom. I love using it for ring around the tub and just all the dirt and grime and scum, you know, that builds up there from shampoo and conditioner and stuff. Um, I just really, really love the paste. So those are my favorite uses, but it's also great at removing like when the painters at our house, like I was able to get paint off the floor, um, scuff marks. It's great for, um, you know, pots and pans, cleaning those. It gets the whites of your shoes clean. It removes marker and crayon from things. I had a gal, um, a customer turned team member, well, host turned host then turned team member. She removed two year old purple nail polish out of her carpet using the cleaning paste and the Enviro cloth. Um, you can also use it, you know, for um, you know to whiten, you know, men's shirt collars. Uh, I've seen people use it to get, you know, um, you know, yellow uh, from their underarms, you know, armpit stains. Uh, for that, but there's just there's a lot a lot of uses for this cleaning paste. So um, People people love it for its myriad of uses um, Okay, let me see. Oh Yeah, you love that sponge. Yes, it is like the super scrubbiest sponge. I absolutely love it So I have one for my bathroom and then I have one to use in my kitchen. Absolutely love it um, Oh, yeah, this is also great Sarah for removing um, rust stains um, I really love it for that as well. So like you know how your um, shaving cream can. My husband still uses shaving cream. It will leave like a rust ring. Um, this gets it out uh, really well. Um, so any other questions that you guys have? Anything about the new products? If you guys have more questions or you wanna see all those new products, use that link that I sent you um, to check things out, um, to go over the specials that we have today, well this month. Um, you can get, when you spend $99, you can get a window cloth, a graphite one for just $10. So that's half off when you spend $99. When you guys spend $110, you can get our amazing mattress cleaner. So you guys saw them talk about that. If you have kids or pets that are having accidents, this is amazing. It removes the stain. It removes the smell. I absolutely love this stuff. If you guys have allergies, if you suffer from any allergies, you're going to want this to spray on your bed. You use it about once a month. You just do for a queen size bed, um, eight to 10 sprays. I just do nine, I do like three rows of, you know, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, and it's amazing. Uh, I used to always cough a few times before I'd go to bed. Don't know why, but um, people said, you know, to use this. And I got it when Norwex had it on sale. This was just last October. And I tried it for the first time on my bed and my cough went away. I'm like, oh my goodness, I had no idea that it was because of allergies. So absolutely uh, love this and you can get it for $15 instead of the normal 30 when you spend 110 and then I don't have the color. Oh wait, maybe I do. No, I don't. Um, you can get a kitchen towel and cloth set in that avocado green color that I showed in the image. You can get the towel and the cloth set for, um, you save $12, you get it for 20. So you can get all three of them for 45 bucks um, when you spend enough money to add those on. But if you guys have any questions about anything, you know, please let me know. Feel free to text me. I'll put my number here. I think I think you guys all have me um, saved now. Um, coming up next, you guys are going to see a shake ball. And since you guys are all my VIP customers, you guys can all shake the ball. Um, not everyone texted me a guest for uh, Sandra's favorite food, but it really is just I have you guys text me so I can connect with you and remind you about the party. So everyone go ahead and shake the ball and you'll get that prize with your order. Um, when you do that, let me announce the winner 
of the giveaway. Pam, you are the winner of a kitchen cloth. Um, so congratulations. I'll get that to you in the mail. Or if you want, actually, Pam, if you want, if you're placing an order, just go ahead and add the color you want, and then I can reimburse you. Um, so you can do that as well if you prefer that, or I can just send you something um, from my stash. But if you want to pick the color, just go ahead, hot dogs, just go ahead and pick which color you want, and then I'll reimburse you. Um, you know, I have several digital ways that I can do that. So everyone can, um, if they can order by Sunday at midnight, that would be awesome. If you want that extra travel cloth, uh, please order by noon tomorrow, but otherwise you have until Sunday to order and to book your parties um, by midnight on Sunday. Um, I think that's everything. After the shake ball, um, in a few posts is going to come up the shopping list. So you will see a list. If you guys have been marking your favorites with stars, then you'll see your favorites list and everything will be marked there. If you haven't, you'll just see a list of everything that I've talked about today. And so you can click, um, you know, go through that list. And if you click on any of those links, it'll take you right to my website so you can place your order. Um, it has the link to Sandra's party right at the top with the shopping cart. So you can click there. If you want to email yourself the list, be sure to click that email um, button um, and it'll email your favorites list right to your email. Um, but I think that's everything. Okay. So thanks so much, you guys. I really appreciate it. I love sharing Norwex just because it's blessed my family, uh, so much. And I just want it to be a blessing to all of you. And I just, you know, we have Earth Day coming up and I saw on that, um, you know, on the video that my friend made, like that huge pile of trash. And I just, you know, as humans, we can do better. And I love that Norwex, it is important to them. Um, you know, it's important to us that we reduce waste. And so I invite you, you know, if you haven't, um, checked any of those products out that you do. So we have lots of things to help, um, like our silicone lids, our reusable produce bags, our reusable grocery bags. We also have our amazing cutting board, which is made of biodegradable rice husks. Um, so we do have a lot of, you know, earth friendly reducing waste, um, items. So I encourage you guys to check those things out. But again, if you have any questions, um, you know, have any cleaners that you're trying to get rid of in your home, you have challenges that you would like address, please feel free to reach out to me. But thanks so much, you guys. Have a great night. Bye-bye.